So today we're going to be making a start on this downstairs on this downstairs garage. Basically, the ceiling will be coming down, so we've got a void where we can run all our cables, and the walls are getting dot and dabbed. So we can clip our cables direct to that. But we've got a plan of what we're going to do. So I've got to choose my cable routes and get it wired. And uh, yeah, I've got my kit out along with the radio. There it is. To keep me entertained. Right, I've got to get a whole run along here. And then I'm going to break off to the areas where the electrics is going. So what my plan is, I'm getting this band in so I can get it underneath there, like so. But then also, where is it? Put a screw in. Put a screw in there. to hold it up and then I'm going to feed a bit of 20 mil conduit onto it so it comes down and that is my plan to run the cables over there just like that with a bit of banding so I can run all the cables there's going to be plenty of room along there for my lights and the sockets so I'm going to go all the way along and I've marked each one where I'm gonna do it. So there's quite a few to do. Let's get cracking. And when you've got a bit of conduit, and it doesn't matter about the ends, how frayed they are, because you're just using it as a runner. You just measure it up, get your Stanley, score it all around the edge, You're not fussed if it doesn't have the perfect cut. But sometimes it actually does look. It's a beautiful cut. I only need 10 of these because I'm just going to be using it to run the cables over rather than getting caught on that banding. There we go. Look at that. Every time nearly. Put a bit of tiling up with a file, but I'm not using it to run cables inside. It doesn't really matter. Look at that. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. And that should do me. Ten. Yeah, see, it's not fantastic. That's why you should probably use better cutters if you're actually going to use it to run cable in. So today, I thought I'd get away with not covering my knees up, but there's crap all over the floor and I'm going to get my knees up, so I might as well put my knee pads on. And these are going to keep me a bit cooler rather than them. Um, I don't have to put a pair of trousers on and put the knee pads in. This is stretchy. They're a bit like, well, motocross pads, basically, and they're flexible. So I'm going to stick them on. And so I can kneel down basically. And you just slide them on like a sock. Oh, sugar. There we go. And they've got little bits in there that grip to your leg. So I'm happy with that. They're not going to fall down all the time. Once I put them on, they stay on. And they stay in position over my knees. This is what I want. Put my boot back on. Right. And now my knee pads are on, I can kneel down. I don't have to worry about getting crippled. Right, with well, this containment anyway, we are now gonna run some cables in to see if my plan actually works to make this easy. So, let's get the cable drum set up. It's warm and muggy today. But I'm inside anyway, so I ain't a big deal. Just get this. There we go, got the little jack. 
we'll put the rods on. I've got a few cables going on this. So, what I'm gonna do is just stick them all on because then the weight will hold it in place. Here's the plan. Right, what I'm gonna do is this is one, oh yeah, two 1.5. So I want the lighting to be at the top. 2.5, we'll have down here. So we've got two of these as well. We're not doing the rings, but on 2.5, for the garage supply and a few sockets. This is, ah, oh, it's four core. Three core easy, that one. The hell is that? 2.5 again. Am I right? Two, 2.5, yeah. So that's 2.5. And then, I'm not gonna do the four mil just yet. That's the three core, so that's gonna be used for the smokes. And then run in a bonding for the earth. Oh, I just hope I can turn this back over. Because this is the most I've sort of pushed on this cable jack. Let's see if we can handle it. Not really. Right them up. I know there's a lot on there. But, is it going to do the job? Boom! Over here. Over here is where I want to go straight in that hole. And that is my little bit that I put for it to roll on as well, so it doesn't get scored on there or damaged cables. To go through into the garage where we've got a few going down there. And yes, I run out of black conduit, but it's in the ceiling, never gonna be seen again, so it's gonna be fine. So the black conduit run goes down there as well because there will be lights at the front. And then this is gonna be my run all the way down. And to these sides as well, because there's sockets over there, sockets over there. And the thing is why I've made them so big, to make it easier for myself. And then also, there's an annex upstairs. So there's gonna be wires rooted round within there as well to go upstairs for the wiring up there. I think this has worked well. It keeps it nice and tight out of the ceiling. I will put some cable ties in once all the cables are in. But yeah, it's got a nice decent run. And I've just got them hanging down to where I've got to go to the sockets now. So then now I've got to fix and mark where these sockets go. So what I'm going to use for that is the marksman. Right, and this, it's got a little slot on there. So you've got to twist it to get it. So then it goes. And I'll show you how it gives a good mark so you don't have to get your pencil mark on. Because what's the point in writing pencil mark on a grey brick? You've got to squint to try and find it. So this is my solution. So this is where I'm going to put my switch nice and level. And then all I did there was push it. Because all you've got to do is put it on there and give it a push. You can just do this as well. Obviously, I'm not going to drill there, but these are the two holes that I've marked with the marksman. And then once you're finished with your marksman, make sure to do that, because then it won't go off in your kit or in your van or in your pocket, because it will run out of uh, the marking paint inside. So now I'm going to get my band in and cut it in one, two, three, four, five. 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 And 
and then I'll show you what I'm going to use this for. And there we have it, clipped down the wall. The sockets are straight. The uh, yeah, trunk end's a bit bent, but there we go. Exactly how we're going to use that. So now we've got a few more to do. So we've got a little progress update. We're uh, getting the outside lights. They're all in. Outside light. Just the wires, basically, that's all. Uh, I've run out of banding. So this is why we have this skipping rope, basically just hanging down. It'll be fine to leave it like that for now. No one's gonna be in here. And just cracking on. This idea to put this little run in was a spot on idea that worked out well I like to run cables but i couldn't just do one run i've had to do other runs as well I like to go to the underfloor heating and the heat air source heat pump that's going there and then little things i didn't bring enough kit this is a four mil circuit because it's got sockets going up here which will be like a worktop area so i haven't got enough of this so that's going to have to be replaced. But we're getting there. That's the main thing. Do you ever find that when you start a new job, maybe a new build, rewire, whatever, the first day, you always feel like you get loads done. When, I don't know, the second day, it's a bit dwindled down. But um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. But I'm not coming back tomorrow. I'm only being here one day. So I'm confident to say that is my day done. To be honest with you, I think I'm a bit early because they've got to put these battens on the ceiling to fix the ceiling up anyway. It's going to be a false ceiling for pipe work and things as well. So maybe I'm a bit early. But I like being early. That means I get the pick of the shoes of the runs, which I have. So we've got plenty of cables in. This is working well. Obviously needs tidying up later on, I know that. But we've got to wire the upstairs as well. And that'll probably take the same route, so I'm not gonna clip them, unclip them, stuff like that. But, yeah, good day's work done. So I'll sit now. 10 to five, I'm ready to go home.